Have mercy on yourself. Forgive yourself. Let go of the things that you're holding on so strongly that make you put yourself in the position of hell. Because we create hell in our own mind before it even manifests and become a physical situation, circumstance, person, place, or thing. Because for a person, for a person to bring you pain, sorrow, worry, doubt, you first have to be in pain, sorrow, doubt yourself. Because when you put that frequency, when you put that energy out there, that person, place, or entity, that particle, that thought, that feeling, is attracted to that based on you putting that energy out into the ether. And so if you don't want to attract that into your life, you have to first get yourself mentally out of that situation. So let's say right now you're in an abusive relationship. You know, you have, you're, you're married to a man and your man is abusing you, abusing, abusing this marriage for his selfish needs. Or let's say you're a, you're a, you're, you know, you're, you, 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 got a, you got a husband, whatever the situation is, vice versa. The only way you can get together with that person, place, or the only way, you can, if you're like me and you get, and you got together with friends, with people that, you know, use you for your practicality, for your reliability, because, you know, my life path is four to six. So that shows me that I'm a very responsible person. So people around me can see that this person is a very responsible, dependable person. But if I don't use that responsibility and dependability for myself, and I lower the value of myself, then other people are gonna see that, okay, I can use that for me. So you're gonna have other people around you making up thoughts and feelings based on you having less value in yourself. So you're gonna present yourself in a way that's, that's you're gonna act like a peasant you're going to accept certain outcomes and accept certain things being done to you because you have a very low image of yourself. And that person, place, or thing, that friend, that wife, that girlfriend, that boss, they're going to be making up thoughts and feelings in their head about how they're getting ready to, you know, use you for whatever, you know, they want to do. Whatever consciousness, whatever light they're lost into as far as something that they are aware of inside of their being, they're getting ready to use you to fuel that and charge their reality. And you better not give them so much fuel that you, you create a narcissist to the point that, you know, it's hard for that person to come back because whatever, whatever you do to others that you don't take responsibility for, like whatever you put in and you don't take out, even if you're the victim of the situation, you gotta look at what you did to add to the situation because cause, cause it takes two to tangle. Damn, my teeth is white, y'all. I mean, they're always white, but you know, <laughs> that, I'm, I'm, your boy's shining, your boy's shining. But you know, yeah, real shit. If, um, because you takes two to tango essentially, damn, hold on. Your boy gotta look good. I mean, damn. It's had some mangoes, so. Anyways, yeah. I fuck, man, fuck it. I'm a Virgo son, y'all, so you know. Gotta make sure the details are, you know, uh, meticulously attended to. <laughs> but, you know, it takes two to tangle, man. A situation can never be the way it is unless you put some kind of energy to it. Can nobody put you in a situation where you have to get an arranged marriage? Because that's what's being suggested to me right now. Unless you are already in the space of survival, needing, you're not in the space of abundance, you don't think there's a lot. You think that things can only be done in a particular way that is limited in perspective of things like that. So that let me know that you might have something in your, you know, you might need to start seeing things from a broader philosophical point of view. You might start, you might need to start to see how, you know, things need to be more adaptable and how things need to be uh, more mutable around your, your morality because you know the morality that the world gives us we doesn't allow a lot of people to experience what they're here to want to experience you may have um, a religious version of morality that, that really got to do with God you got to understand that that's, that's a point of view that's a world view and if you go to the Middle East for example you can sleep with a 13 14 year old you can marry her or whatever and that's to where that's normal and if you go tell them that they can't do they're gonna cuss you out and your mom and they're gonna tell you that nigga uh Allah said so whether Allah is real or not fuck that nigga anyways the point is is that there's different moralities in different parts of the world and so if you don't 
take the opportunity based on where you are and understand what's going on, there's certain things that you're not going to be able to experience that you're going to look at other people like, how is that person able to do that? How is that person able to experience and accomplish this? But really it's because they have a broader point of view when it comes to something in their lives. And so if you don't take that chance in your life to expand yourself, expand your horizons and things like that, you're not going to be able to even see that opportunity, which is fire. You're able to purify something that previously maybe you didn't see, it wasn't sufficient enough to get you. You might have a form of morality where, you know, you let people use you for the sake of you thinking like, okay, this is what friendship require and I got to relate on this level for me to have this person uh, be in my circle because, you know, people got different uh, psyches, right? People got different mentalities, different perspectives, different, with different geometric views on how reality should be. And so, you know, if we don't start to examine these things, if we don't start to take, take these things and critically criticize them and really look at the subconscious, unconscious reasons about why we do certain things that we do, we're going to find ourselves always in those situations, people, places, and things. It's just going to play out through different vessels, but it's the same spirit that you're going to deal with, you know? You might have a spirit of gluttony, you know? You might have a spirit of lust. You might have a spirit of wrath. You might deal with a person who has a spirit of wrath and they might blow fire on you, make you feel like a sinner, like you're worthless if you don't follow their way of being, if you don't change and adapt and be like them. But really, it's something about you that's making them uncomfortable so they feel the need to make you just like them. So you gotta be careful because you gotta remember, there's so many different blood cells here walking on this planet that represent different virtues and principles, different bodies of water. And you, if you look at every water in the earth, it all has different substances, different molecular structures. And we kind of came out of the water in a way because you know your geographical location, the food you grow, the, the, you know, the food you grow is charged with that water, it's grown with that water. So that water is gonna get in you. Now I'm saying, when that water evaporate and that water coming rain over the land, that, that water is coming, you know? The water is coming. That water is programmed in a particular way. So everywhere in the world, people behave differently, see differently, feel differently. And when you're seeing these type of people, you gotta understand everybody got a different way of going about something. What you think is right is not necessarily right. What you think is wrong is not necessarily wrong. Like for example, the elites, they break all types of laws. They do all types of stuff to, you know, maintain themselves and stay on top like they be blackmailing each other they be doing all types of shit to maintain the, the game see that's the game they play but that's not necessarily the game that you know you might be here to play you might have like a different version of that you know you might start a business from a whole different starting point you might not have the same starting point as somebody else and that's why it's very important for you to get back in touch with yourself and really study yourself because look jesus left where he was at so he can go study with different people so that he can begin to see a bigger broader point of view to look at things because if he stayed on that same land he didn't travel nowhere he would have still maintain that same view now you gotta do that you can do that externally now you got the internet nowadays you can access so many different places you can access so many different things so many different programs there's all types of ways to do it and you gotta also travel internally to be able to broaden your point of view, you gotta, so you gotta see yourself, but internally, like look internally. But when you look externally, you're also looking at yourself because there's no way you would be manifesting that situation unless you agreed with that belief system. There's no way you would agree to $15 an hour unless you thought it was worth $15 an hour. You might, that's why you gotta be careful what environment you hang around with, you gotta be careful what friends you hang around with, you gotta be intentional with those things and you gotta pick and choose those things because you can't be hanging around with people that are not going where you're going in life you can't be like messing around with certain frequencies low vibrations uh you know that are not on the level that you wish to go to and expect for you to manifest your revelation which is just the new light that you're here to experience the new consciousness that you're here to experience because god put you here so you can elevate your consciousness not stay in that same consciousness and if you choose to stay in that same consciousness, you're going to find yourself experiencing that same reality, you know, again and again and again, just in different bodies as well. So 
you you don't you don't want to go to a different body and experience that same reality again. You want to be able to go to your next body, which is like your God body, and you want to be able to create something that is like a heaven for you because you want to create heaven for yourself, not stay in hell for yourself. Now, that's what I'm saying. The people, places, and things in your life, they may convince you to stay in that hell based on them making a heaven on that. So they got bodies piling up while they sitting on top of the hill with blood, sweat, and tears trying to maintain that position. But really, that friend, person, place, or thing, the dominant culture, the Caucasians, the 1%, there's nothing wrong with white people, but they are Caucasian. They are like, they're northern men. They're like the white walkers from Game of Thrones. They're very ruthless. That's not a bad thing. We can learn from that. Because in some situations, you know, you got to fight fire with fire. You can't be a nice dude. Like a lot of black people are extremely too nice, too lenient. A lot of Indians may be too nice, too lenient. Some white people might be too nice, too lenient. So we can't do that. And this is this life is part of God showing us ourselves. This, this life is part of God making us smell our own ass so we can ask ourselves how to get out of this hell, this holographic matrix, this dominant culture, this friend, person, place, or thing is trying to keep you in. Because the church is going to want to keep you in. You're the product, remember that. You're the thing they are processing. You're the person that keeps coming back to there so they can so you can keep that system charged up. Because without you, there'd be no church. Without you, there'd be no mosque. Without you, there'd be no corporations. Without you, there would be no bus stations. Because if you don't need to use it, then they wouldn't be able to make it. Without you, there wouldn't be a city block. So everything is about your energy. And you got to treat that thing like it's sacred. Because when you misplace your energy with the wrong people, places, and things, it's what the Bible calls casting your pearls amongst swine. And God doesn't like that shit. Because you need to exchange your energy, you need to replicate and duplicate your mind with people, places, and things of the same mind so that energy can come back to you double, triple, thri uh, triple. That's why the Jews, they play out this example, but in their culture. So they buy each other's products, they buy each other's information, they invest in each other's businesses. That's the example of playing it externally but it's something we also do internally. So yeah, make sure you really spend time to understand yourself because there's no there's no mathematics. You, you, man, you already know mathematics. You already know science. You already know physics. You already know quantum physics. You already know all that shit. It's already inside of you. These Jews that's making the education system, they're just trying to teach you some shit that you already fucking know. But you just know it already in your own way. And they're trying to teach it to you in their way, but you're just going to get bored in class because... God is already emitting his frequency, the information that you're looking for inside of you, but it keeps getting interrupted by the electro smog. By the electro smog, they keep putting out there, especially with, you know, the vaccine shots and things like that. Not that that's, well, vaccine shots, that's interrupting that emission from happening with the heavy metals and things. So it's blocking God's conscience, it's blocking uh, that newness, that revelation from is springing from within you. So pay attention to the people, places, and things that make you angry, that make you go through sorrow, make you go through pain, worry, doubt, and fear. Because those people, places, and things are lowering your vibration, your frequency. And you want to put yourself in a position where, you know, your vibration and your frequency is elevated. So that's why you got to be careful with your environment and all that. But yeah, my full battery is running out. It's 5% right now. I infinitely cut you all on the next video. You better fucking believe it.